I've an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline. Not when I need your faith the most. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh! Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. I'll be hanged. And George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> really living punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I assumed our assessment would be a troubled one. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a look of good. Men like him are a flight on his magic record. Peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The king wants them eradicated. Above all else. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dog's kennel. Captain Hornigold, please call your men. Rackham, Bane! The governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. Particularly ineffective in bringing about this change. 
and has failed at all attempts until now. Careful how you talk about His Majesty, Governor. You'll hear it is pleasure, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the letter. Hey, stop! He's been bringing about this change, hasn't he? He's failed at all attempts until now. Careful how you talk about his majesty, Governor. You'll hear it his pleasure. I have my methods, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the letter. Community. All others are empowered to go about their usual business. Go on, move! Go! Commodore Chamberlain, please see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. We should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message. The king's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Twaddle, Governor! We should sink every goddamn ship not flying the king's colors. To do otherwise protects a certain weakness in our bearing. Silence, Commodore! I am the goddamn governor here, serving at the king's pleasure, and I Steady will make side. the bloody decision. Is that clear, sir? Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear and clear. These are the charts, Commodore. We're in position. Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders.
hereby promise and declare that in case any of the said pirates shall on or before the 5th of September in the year of our Lord 1718 surrender him or themselves to any one of the principal secretaries of state in Great Britain or Ireland or to any governor or deputy governor of any of our plantations beyond the sea, every such pirate and pirate shall surrender in him or themselves as aforesaid shall have our gracious pardon of and for such his or their piracy or pirate his. By him or them committed before the 5th of January next ensuing. And we do hereby strictly charge and command all our admirals, captains, and other officers at sea. And all our governors and commanders of any fort, castle, or other places in our plantations. And all our officers, civil and military, to seize and take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly. <laughs>